600 years ago, on October the 25th, 1415, Henry V and his ragged band of brothers, against all odds, won the Battle of Agincourt. Shakespeare, 200 years later, writes a play about it. Henry V, of course, stands alone very well uh, in its own right as a play, but we're doing it as the culmination of a journey of plays. If you are seeing it by itself, it's still a very, very full story. And I think we're playing it um, with all of the depth that we've kind of found through the other plays. Playing the whole journey of how into his origin story, as it were, to then become the superhero, <laughs> Henry V, is uh, a great privilege. It's my first time coming to Shakespeare, and I've been completely taken aback by how much I enjoyed it. This is our great home of Shakespeare. This is one of his great plays. This is a terrific production, one of his great plays. All the actors were outstanding, and Henry, in particular, was just phenomenal. It's just an incredibly well-put-together production. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. Yeah, loved, loved Henry. I was delighted to see Jane Lafferty, particularly back here in Stratford. A great night, a, a, a great play, uh, fantastic acting, a uh, thoroughly enjoyable evening. I try and imagine, as, as Alex, if I were to essentially be told that I am God's mouthpiece and that God is talking through me, that is an incredibly weird thing to try and fathom as a human being and I think that's partly what the play is about. This a normal person being put in an incredibly extreme situation that he fears he's not ready for. It's a play not about anti-war or pro-war, it's a play about going to war. It's a play about what it feels like and what the costs are. It's not a piece of propaganda, it's not a manifesto, it's an extraordinary debate about war.